Here we have a 2009 BMW 318D SE Business Edition in black. Lots of features on the car and it is a lovely looking car as you'll see throughout the video. So as with the offside front tyre, we're looking at a good 4 to 5 millimetres of tread there. Offside front tyre, you can see you've got a little minor kerb there on the outer edge of the alloy. Again, very light little scuff there. Some light kerbs around the outside edge. So potentially could do with a refurb, but it isn't too serious. Looking down the offside of the vehicle, unfortunately it's very wet today. Um, so I have had some trouble trying to have a real good look around the car. Tried my best. Um, I can not spot any dents to the offside of the vehicle. And I personally can't spot any dinks either. Looking around the front bumper here, it might be a bit hard to spot on the video. But you can see it's large chunk taken out of the bumper here. I'll just try and get a good light for you guys. Um, as you can see, it's a large chunk. Um, so my finger really dips in there. As you can see, a little bit more there. If I just try and get a uh, try and get a torch on the bodywork here, just so you can have a uh, a better look. So as you can see there, it's taking a, a large chunk out of the front bumper and also it has scuffed and very uh, largely dented the uh, offside front bumper there underneath as you can see there. So do beware of that. Moving around to the near side, if you look down the offside front driver's door. Again we've got some light scratches that could do with a polish. Um, of course, being black is going to show everything under the sun. Got a couple of light scratches. Um, door edge is very clean, actually, with no real sign of any car park chips at all there. Both the sills are in nice condition. You've got privacy glass on the rear doors. Unfortunately, the roof's got wet again, but there is a couple of small dinks on the roof. Uh, rear passenger door, again, we've got some light scratches to the bodywork that are going to require some polish. Moving around to the rear quarter, again, a couple of light little scratches here and there. Rear tyre, might be a bit hard to see on the video, uh, we're looking at around 3mm three, three millimeters of tread there. And the offside rear alloy, uh, nice condition, minor little scuff on the bottom there, apart from that, the rest of the alloy is lovely and clean. Moving towards the rear of the vehicle, rear parking sensors on the rear bumper, uh, we've got some large scuffs on the rear bumper as we can see large scuff there, scuff there and a scuff on the bottom as well so do be aware of that, it's going to require some paint a lot of light scratches on the tailgate are going to require good polish no damage at all to the near side and the boot's got some light scratches to it as well take a look inside the boot itself as you can see um, lovely clean condition again all your butt packs etc all with the vehicle as well, so all your documents, etc. Um, but lovely condition in the boot. Near side rear tyre, not a great deal amount of tread there at all. We'll get around two millimetres at the most, so that is going to need changing very soon. Slight kerb on the near side rear alloy there, and again, some light little scuffs and kerbs around the outside edge. So, again, a potential refurb. Looking on the near side of the vehicle, uh, one or two very light dinks, no signs to be dense. No chips at all on the rear door edge or the front door edge. And again, some light scratches to the bodywork, just cosmetic marks really. Underneath the doors there, a couple of light scratches. Mirror looks fine. Front quarter looks fine on the near side and the front tyre around 4 to 5 mil. Near side front alloy definitely going to require a refurb because we've got a lot of curbing and scuff marks to the alloy there. We've run to the front of the vehicle. Some light little scratches and marks to the front. A little bit of a scuff there on the underneath of the front bumper. Front parking sensors. A couple of scratches, you can see them all over the badge there. And some touchings needed to the bonnet. And of course, you've got that quite bit of damage underneath the offside, which I showed you at the start of the video. And again, some stone chips to the front. Taking a look at the interior of the vehicle. As you can see, got a full um, cream leather interior. Lovely condition, a little bit dirty, just that's just age related. With a good valet, it should fetch them out very nicely. No signs of any damage, no scratches or marks. 
Back of the seats are also in a lovely condition. Carpets are nice and clean as well. Door panels also in a nice condition. Take a look at your driver's seat. Again, a bit of a scratch on the top there. Bolsters, a little bit of wear, and again, age related. It's a bit dirty as well, as you can tell from the video. Again, needs a good valet. Um, front passenger seat is also in a good condition with a slight bit of wearing. You've got the nice piano black trim inside. Dashboard's all tidy, nice and clean. And the steering wheel's not in bad condition either. Automatic lights, and you've also got automatic window wipers as well. Step inside the vehicle itself. You do have two sets of keys with the vehicle, as we can see here, so two keys. I'm just getting the car started. More than 20 years ago. Looking at your mileage, the car starts perfectly fine, no issues at all there. 73,209 miles on the clock. Multifunction M uh, SE steering wheel. As you can see, you got the large display there, navigation. Works perfectly fine and no issues at all there. Again, it functions very well. No problems at all with the radio. No problems at all with any of the blowers. Everything functions very well. Air conditioning also works great. Also got heated seats on the vehicle and they are nice and warm. Manual transmission. Taking a quick look at the documents. If we just turn these lights on, make it a little bit easier. There we go, looking at the V5, the car has had two owners. It does have an MOT on the vehicle, November 18th, 2015, so it's literally just been MOT'd, and that was with us at Rybrook Shrewsbury, so it's been MOT'd with us very recently. And just to top it off, we've got full franchise history, all done with us at Rybrook Shrewsbury. 13, 23, 37, 55, and just been serviced at 73,207, so literally two miles it's done since it's last service so just been serviced with us so that's spot on there we go the 2009 bmw 318d se business edition you got the black high gloss trim uh, pro nav heated seats usb sun protection glass parking sensors front and rear auto lights and auto wipers lots of features on the vehicle it is in a nice condition uh, a couple of cosmetic marks bit of damage to the front bumper Decent mileage for the vehicle's age, and uh, once it's had a bit of TLC, I think it'll be a very nice looking car.